What's up my add-ons, Advantageous here, and this is going to be a special video dedicated to one of my subscribers, Joshy. He... we found out he's been around since either my cast form, like from the very beginning of cast form, or my simi sweeps. He remembers coming off of my, uh, off of a Burlesque fan Friday. So, he wanted to do some battle, so, well, of course, I love battling, let's do it. So, I will, uh, I will get started with this. Um, I'm looking at his team, uh, he was asking me, like, what types of mons, like, what level of mons, like, what smoke on tier we wanted to follow. He was following PU. Um, I thought my mons were, like, okay, not too overpowered, and then I saw his team, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I am very sorry. I was like, I brought, I brought a lot of power. So, in comes, uh, so he brings his mighty Anna, leads off, I'm like, the stealth rocks. I was uh, chatting with him on Twitter, just like private message, and he's like, "Oh crap, I don't have a spinner." <laughs> like, I should get a spinner for this team. So, uh, so that crunched a lot. I'm not fully defensive. I'm just max HP. Um, so I know ten growth is meant to take these types of hits. So it goes for another crunch, uh, but you're gonna see like it still does a good chunk to me. Uh, but the rocky helmet is definitely hurting him. Um, so I don't know what he wants to do, I just want to go for a knockoff, I'm thinking he's probably Scarf. And, uh, Scarf is kind of a problem, just because Stantler can really do a lot, so I want to get a nice knockoff. Um, so he brings in Vile Plume, uh, gets rid of the Black Sludge. Uh, so I definitely don't want to take a Sludge Bomb with this thing. So I go into Flubber, because, like, I resist Grass and Poison-type moves. And then he reveals, uh, the Zord Stance, I'm like, oh man. Like, this is a bit scary. Uh, so I get my Flare Boost from this, and I do have the Psychic. It is a quick Grass and Poison type. So this thing is, yeah, it's, it's just gone. Yeah, I realized, oh, that was my phone. I realized, um, yeah, this team doesn't really have a lot of momentum. Like, like I don't think I have Volt Switch or U-Turn on anything. Which is probably an issue. But I mean, it's just meant to be switch coverage for everything. Uh, so back in comes this Mighty Anna. Um, I'm thinking Crunch is coming my way, so I actually go into Malwa. And then, I guess he predicted um, the other by Tangrowth to come out, so he went for the Fire Fang. And unfortunately, yeah, I go into Malwa, and I don't take that very well at all. Because he's going to go for another Fire Fang. Um, unfortunately, doesn't miss. So here, I know that he's locked into Fire Fang, even if he's Scarf, uh, Stantler can definitely outspeed and get a return off. So, yeah, so I go in, uh, I'm pretty sure I revealed that I'm Scarf, he might have thought that I outsped him naturally, uh, but that's okay, so in comes uh, Seismitoad, who I'm like, okay, well, I can't do a whole lot to you, but what are you going to do back to me? But I don't want to, I, I kind of want to scout the set. Um, I know that Tangro resists both of the stabs. Uh, and then he brought it in because he has Drain Punch on this. And I'm like, okay, that's that's fair. So he gets a bit of health back. He's going to take Rocky Helmet damage. So it's a physical set. Normally you would see like Skull, Earth Power, Ice Beam on this. Uh, Stealth Rocks for lefties. That's usually like the set that I would like to run. Uh, so now we've got. So he switches out into this mini ore, and I'm like, ooh, buddy, this is this thing's pretty scary. Um, but yeah, so he doesn't take the Giga Drain very well, even though he's in Shields Down form. Um, I don't know what he was expecting. Maybe a Leech Seed? I don't even know if I can Leech Seed Shield Down form. I think it's just like non volatile stat status, like uh, Paralysis, Sleep. I think he's immune to that. Um, so I'm thinking this thing is going to be a uh, special one, as he ends up going for the Shell Smash, um, as predicted. But I'm confident that I can take it. And unlike in the last battle, I uh, actually have my leftovers. So it is a white herb thing, so I wouldn't have been able to knock it off. Um, I thought an Acrobatics was coming my way, uh, so I switched into Corsola. Uh, but he does reveal the Power Gem. Um, but even at plus two, like, that, like, Corsal is a beast. 
piece. Like, you can see that. That is a plus two power gem from a mini ore. And uh, I take that rather well. So, Corsola, you're so beautiful. We just we just love you so much. Uh, so, out come Wormadam. And I wasn't too worried about this thing. Um, I, I knew that I had things that could handle it. Uh, so I switch out into my Flubber, uh, thinking that a Earth move was coming my way, and it it was true. It was true. It, it came. So gets rid of the Wormadam. Uh, I do believe I just go for a Shadow Ball on this turn just to get some good damage off. Probably should have gone for Tailwind just to get some nice uh, get some speed on this because I am actually running modest on this. So yeah, so you can see just how much a flare boosted Shadow Ball does. Like this is what Driplim does best. So uh, this Seismodon reveals the um, that it's got a Salad Berry. I'm like, oh, that's actually an issue. I don't like that. Uh, so Scald can't burn me. I'm already burned. Uh, so Shadow Ball will come in. But yeah, anything that gets like a boost from flames, like no. Um, the low dig, uh, guts, users, oh man, that burn is so much better now. It, it's wonderful. So it comes this Wormadam, and I'm just thinking like, okay, I, I think at this point I've got this battle wrapped up. My Shadow Ball should be enough to take him out, and then he's got something in the back. And then he reveals that he's a Scarfed Wormadam with Rock Blast. And he takes out Driplim. And he told me after that he knew he needed to get rid of this thing. And this Wormadam was his only hope. He completely caught me off guard. I'm like, what? So at this point now, I reveal 100% that I'm Scarf because he's Scarf and I outsped him, but Wormadam is not fast in the first place. Uh, so he's getting pretty lucky. Uh, I mean, you know, three hits with the Rock Blast, but this will definitely take him out. Um, and then I know he's got, uh, I think, it's called, in the back. And I wasn't really sure what this thing was going to do, but I knew, like, don't take it lightly, it's literally got analytic, and it's super slow, so it just, it hits like a, like a pretty drum. It's ridiculous. So I was expecting a psychic, and I'm like, going to Corsola. Um, I wish I had Toxic on this thing. I'm thinking I should take my team off this for future things, because I've had all the battles, and I've wanted to have with this team, so I'm pretty happy with it, but I think I'm going to put Toxic on it next time, because I didn't really have much in the way of status on this team, so lots of ways to improve, you know, like, always ways to improve. Uh, so yeah, so I don't know how I predicted it, but I I knew I needed to get uh, Leech Seed up on this, it's like it's going to be an issue now with the barrier up, so I'm just switching back and forth, I'm kind of trying to scout his set a little bit. So he's got Psychic, Energy Ball, and Barrier. So I'm thinking he's got some sort of recovery. Now if you're going to run Barrier, you might as well have the recovery. Um, so here I'm thinking, I wasn't sure if he was going to predict me to go back into Tank Row. Uh, and then I hit him with a Scald, and then he shows off that he's a Moranga Berry. I'm like, oh no. Like, oh. That's just... It's just gross. I'm like, this set is gross, and now I'm thinking, what the heck do I do? I don't have Driplum anymore, and that's why he revealed he needed to get rid of it so this thing could get set up. I'm like, this is, this is bad. So now I'm just bringing in stuff because I'm like, okay, I gotta sack stuff off to be able to bring, to get a leech seat off on this thing. That's the only way I'm gonna stand any sort of chance. Uh, so here, I actually calped it. Um, my Steelium Zed. Uh, Iron Tail does as much damage as Earth Or I think, or no, it's Dragon Claw because he's got Love. No, he's got Love Tainted with Never mind. But yeah, I think it was the same power as Earthquake, so I'm like, oh, let's just show off the tech. Let's go for the Steelium Zeb. And yeah, that does only like 30%, and then it just recovers. So I'm like, well, that's wonderful. That's just awesome. So happy. So, just like, alright, I, I gotta go for crits at this point. That's all I can really do. 
um, is he's just gonna keep setting up barriers on me because I'm like, oh no, this thing's gonna sweep me. Oh, this is so, this is embarrassing. This is terrible. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing like nothing to this thing. Uh, so, probably should just have sped this part up. It's a bit stally, but it, it doesn't last for too long. So I'm like, okay, what, what, what do I do? I'm just basically waiting for him to kill me at this point. I'm expecting him to go for another barrier. Um, but yeah, then he just he finally goes for the psychic, which is great. Uh, takes my Flygon out, so I go into my Stantler, who has Mega Horn, and at this point I'm like, all right, that's all I can do. So I go for Mega Horn, and it's super effective. I was like, please don't miss. So you can see, like, that does a lot. Uh, and then he said he misclicked here and hit Energy Ball, which is like, thank you, thank you. I go for another Mega Horn, and watch this. It does so much. Yeah, you thought I was going to say it's a crit, but no, I get the... Uh, like, that, that's doing about almost half. So that Sapset Produce coming in, like, really useful. And I'm like, please don't miss Mega Horn, please don't miss. I, I really need you not to miss. And there it is! There's the crit that I needed. Behem goes down. So Stantler, even a plus four defense, like, he's doing almost half of this thing. So that was great. So, I'm gonna keep this going uh, and show you off all the battles. So this one was, uh, he wanted to bring all his, a bunch of his shinies against all of my shinies. And I looked at my box and I realized that I had exactly six shinies. Um, obviously the synergy is not super there, but I, I did my best. So, uh, so I just wanted to bring it. I knew like they were all kind of PU except for Sceptile and um, the same Pandora. So I knew that thing was going to be very useful. Uh, so here, um, I actually bring out Stantler again. This one is my uh, shiny Stantler. It actually doesn't have Mega Horn. I thought it was going to bring the same team. Uh, and actually his Earthquake instead of Mega Horn, which is fine. Uh, so here I go for the jump kick on this thing, and it just, it barely lifts that. Uh, so I'm actually in Light Warp Stantler, Adamant Nature, Max Attack, so... Um, this was kind of a way to make it a little bit better. So he's going to reveal the Wiki Berry, uh, which is pretty cool, and he goes for the Yawn. Uh, I don't really want to fall asleep, though. I need Stantler. Uh, looking at the rest of his team, I know that it can like, put in the work. Uh, so I switch into Knocked Owl. Um, as he goes for a Hyper Bang, and that does so much damage. So I'm like, yeah, you are 100% um, strong jaw. Because I did way too much damage. Uh, so here's my Knocked Owl set that I love. Um, as he's going to try to yawn me out, even though I had a burn, which doesn't work on me. So I knew this knocked out could just kind of wall this thing out. Uh, so I get my flame orb boost again, so I can't be put to sleep. Yay me! Can't have two statuses at the same time, so... Uh, so I'm just going to go for the roost. I'm expecting him to continue to go for hyper bank, basically, and you leave 90%, but yeah, you can see... That. So, see how much that did. You know what, now I'm thinking he's not actually um, strong jaw, he might be stake out. Which is if a mon switches out, uh, they do like a lot more damage. So yeah, that must be it, because yeah, it's like looking at this, like he's doing nothing to me. Which is like awesome. No damage! So I hope Josh is watching this. I do believe I have one more battle after this. To put up. I just kind of wanted to put it all in one video, so um, it's, unfortunately there I go for Facade and it doesn't take him out. He needs to do a lot more damage, which is a problem because now I'm not going to get help. Like, not how it works as a good switch in his stuff, but it's not the tankiest. You know, it's good for PU, but it's not super, super tanky. Uh, so he brings in Ambipalm, and I'm like, oh man, I would love to get a. Uh, that burn off on this thing, that would be nice. Uh, so I switch into Stantler, which I could have probably made into like my uh, defensive wall. Uh, I just wanted to get an Intimidate off on this thing, but you can see like, Big Out does a lot. Technician boosted. Um, 
up there. So here, I don't know if he... Like, I wasn't sure if he predicted the jump kick. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna do that. I'm gonna freaking crash, and this is great. So he switches and be pumped out into Christmas! Christmas! The snow's coming down to Christmas! So I still go for jump kick just to get some damage. I was expecting him just to return me and take me out. Uh, but unfortunately, I do go down to life orb, which is kind of an issue. Um, you'll see later on in the battle, uh, because I have nothing to really switch into Ambi Pump and Snake Out. Uh, so here, um, I was definitely thinking there's no way you can expect my Maractus to be Scarf. So I just hit him with the nice Choice Scarf Energy Ball. He asked me after I was Scarf, and I'm like, oh, I'm but, like, come on, it's correct, because I'm not that fast. So, obviously, I have to do this. So anyway, so we bring in Captain. I can't touch this thing, even with anything that I've got. I've got, like, a round and hidden power dragon. So, I can't do anything. So, this, um, this guy's gonna go for a nice, nasty plot. Like, oh, this is savage. What am I gonna do? So, I go for Focus Blast. Thank, thank Christmas, it hits. And I one shot him. Um, I this I actually put Grassium Z for Leaf Storm. I'm thinking I should have put Vitinium Z or uh, that because I'm way more worried about missing the Focus Blast. It's usually only once like you ever need to hit it, and when you need it, you need it. Uh, so here I've got nothing. Like my team is super weak to flying, so I'm just like let's just I'm faster than this thing. Let's just bop it as hard as I can. So I go for the Z Leaf Storm, bring out the Bloom Doom. And I just want to hit this thing as hard as I possibly can. And I get a crit. And I take it out. I, I actually looked away so I didn't notice it. And so it's like, oh, that crit. Like, I crit you. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And now we've got this Ambi Pod left. And yeah, Fake Out does so much damage to me. Uh, so he goes for Fake Out. They're, uh, protect again. I do believe I just go... Oh, I do go for focus blast. I'm pretty sure I have to beat this thing. I am, uh, max timid. But he is going to switch out into seeking. Which... I can't remember. Yeah, I click focus blast again. Uh, still does a lot. Um, and I'm just like, okay, well I can just go for a giga drain here. Um, this thing is not scarfed again, so I can easily take that out. I guess his whole team wasn't shiny, I think he just brought a few more of his shinies, because this thing's not shiny. So yeah, so here comes the Ambipaw, and this is where I was saying earlier, I don't have Stamp, but he can't switch out anymore, so if I get an Intimidate off, he's Denzel Funza. Uh, so he gets a powerful fake out off on me. Um, so I just uh, go for the Leaf Storm, get a lot of damage on this thing, doesn't take it out, but it still did like a lot. I just wanted to get as much damage as I could. Uh, but yeah, he goes for the Razor Fang uh, Fling strategy, which is pretty cool, but uh, he couldn't flinch me because I was faster than him. Uh, so here, I bring in this thing, and I was thinking, I was like, it's probably gonna go for Protect. I could go for Faint. I actually have Faint on this thing. Um, I'm Choice Banded. I go for the Super Power. Um, but yeah, I am, I do believe, lonely nature, so I'm negative defense nature. And he shows up the last resort, and like, huh, so fake out, fling, protect, last resort. Like, huh, that's interesting. So here, uh, this is my Assault Nest Pangoro. I could have just saved this to last, but I didn't want anything to happen. I've got, like, Iron Fist, Bullet Punch, and I just wanted to take him out. I had... I had Knock Owl in the back, that gets one shot, my last resort, and uh, I had Marathus, which may have outset, I don't think it would have, and it would have gotten uh, one shot by it, so I could have just done that, seen if I could pick it out better, like Pangoro, he's a boss, he hasn't hit the field yet, so let's bring him out, go for the Bullet Punch, because I'm Assault Vest, not Crazy Defense Nature, uh, but yeah, so that was the second one. Um, I believe this is the last one. Yeah. So, um, I, at this point I was getting tired and we were just having like one big session and uh, I wanted to have a double battle. Didn't want to do singles anymore. 
So uh, I bring out my Devil's Team that we'll see soon, and I'm going to bring the Battle Spot. Um, it's pretty good. It's a good, it's a really good like shutdown team. Uh, it shuts down a lot of setup. So this is Ghost DMZ, Destiny Bond, Miss Magius, and an Assault Vest. Uh, Need a queen. So this time was actually the second time we had the battle. We uh, brought the wrong Pokemon one time. Uh, so I just let him like restart. Uh, but yeah, it was the same deal. Didn't wanna. So yeah, so I'm, I'm I know what this lead is. I've seen this before. It's a Quiver Dance, um, Dancer Strat. So I, I absolutely know what's going on. Don't want any of those shenanigans. So yeah, so he was kind of like, ah oh, crap, I forgot about Taunt. So I'm just, yeah. So like I said, it's a shutdown team. I don't want anything, any, any shenanigans going on. Uh, so the Butterfree is oh, kind of an issue. I don't really want it to do anything. So I was thinking he was going to switch out into something that could Quiver Dance. So I didn't want anything bad to happen. So back out comes Nigel. Uh, but I know that the other guy is... Uh, taunted, so it can't do anything. Uh, so he just switches right back into Butterfree, which is fine uh, because yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Shadow Ball onto Masquerade, get some damage off, and I'm waiting for the point where I can go for the Zen Destiny Ball to get that off. Uh, but yeah, so this uh, Masquerade actually reveals that it has the Lizard, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm Assault as Need of Queen. I think that really well. I double into the Masquerade slot, knowing that he can't actually talk, or like he can't protect. Um, so here comes this Decidueye, and I knew a ghost move was coming. I wanted to burn him, but I missed my friggin' Will O Wisp. Like, why didn't I just go for the Zed Destiny boss? Like, that would have just made a lot more sense. So Spirit Shackle is going to destroy my life. And the Butterfree is going to go for the Sleep Powder, which really sucks. So now I'm in a tight spot. Uh, we're 5-5. Five, five. This is a 66 Pebbles. So now I'm in a tight spot because i got to pull them out of sleep. So I decided to bring up Pidgeot. Because I know that um, nice Heat Wave. No Guard will not work, so Pidgeot. Uh, well, it's not too recently that it got released, but it's the first time that I'm using it since the Mega Stone got released for it. But yeah, Mega Pidgeot's so cool, I love using it. Uh, singles and doubles, it really works well. So yeah, so Heat Wave is going to do about half of the Decidueye. Um, the crit on Butterfree did not matter. It, it wouldn't have not, it would have not, like, survived at all. Uh, so this Decidueye is actually going to go for a Feather Dance on me, which didn't really do anything. Uh, so luckily, Nidoqueen gets a second turn wake up. Well, I guess first turn, because it was first turn that it could wake up, which is super awesome. And then out comes a Smeargle, I'm like, oh no. So this is the Pokemon he forgot to bring, and I'm like, oh no, this is, this, this is bad. Um, so yeah, so interestingly, this thing is a Magoberry, but it didn't pop because he got Dragon Tail, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So, uh, Nidoqueen... Uh, I'm not really worried about anything it wants like these mods want to do to me. Um, Sidueye is going to Spear Chuckle me. Which doesn't do too much. I'm like max HP. I'm, I'm super bulky. I'm meant to take these hits. So I only did that just to get the Sidueye down. Uh, so that Heat Wave can take it up next turn. Uh, so he makes a questionable play here. And he switches out into Nigel. Oh, but okay, I get the Feather Dance now. He It works for Dancer. So you can get a double thing, but I'm especially defensive. Dragon Tail is not there for damage, it's just there to face. Which is cool. So this Decidueye, missing that burn earlier is starting to really annoy me. Cause yeah, I just Ugh. Yeah. That's how I felt. So now I'm just like, oh man. So now I'm seeing, okay, Volcarone is here. Um, I don't know that Hurricane can take it out in one shot. Uh, but I'm just like, I just gotta go for it. I think it doubled up on the Volcarona. But yeah, if he gets a Quiver Dance up, um, I think that's GG. Uh, Revelation Dance comes from this. If he had gotten the Quiver Dance up, um, well, he one-shots me anyways, so that's fine. Uh, but I do Dragon Tail him out just in case. 
Um, and yeah, after the battle, he said like Dragon Hill was just messing him up really, really bad. And there was just not much that he could do. So, out comes Weavile. I've been keeping this thing in the back the whole time to shut down whatever shenanigans start happening. So I do believe at this point it's his last two Pokemon. Yes. So I've got four left. I do have... Um, I say? So I fake out. Um, I fake out the Smear. Smeargle. I don't want it doing anything. Faking me out. Doing kind of funny shenanigans. Can't have that. So I double up my Smeargle expecting him to protect. And go for some like dance move. Um, I could have just uh, knocked off the other thing, but uh, yeah, so he reveals the choice scarf, and even scarfed uh, Spirit Girl doesn't outspeed me, which is kind of funny. That's how fast Weavile is. So, yeah, so now it's kind of just like uh, this is pretty much over. Uh, I go for the faint here just in case he wants to try to protect for whatever reason. I had it the whole time, I just didn't want to use it. And he's gonna go for a revelation dance. Uh, doesn't do that much. Uh, I'm sashed anyways. So it wouldn't have done anything to me. And Sludge Bomb, I don't think that crit mattered. Sludge Bomb is pretty good. And yeah, so I, I take him down. I have the Primarina and the Magnezone in the back. Uh, that probably could have handled either of them. Except for that Fiery Dance. Like, the Fiery Dance was scary. So after the battle, after this one, he asked me not to upload it. And I said, that's fine. Like, it was a, maybe it sucked for you because you didn't get to do anything, but I played very well myself. I was able to shut down all his threats. Yeah, like that's how I saw it. I'm like, this is so threatening. Like I have to be so careful about what I do because he can just like destroy me if he gets a quiver dance up on this on anything. So I'm like, oh man. So it, it was scary. It was a old dancer team. Um, I was scared, but I played well. I like I said at the beginning of this particular battle. I have a good shutdown team, so it works well. So that is going to do it for this little uh, subscriber special. So Joshi, thank you for those battles. That was a great evening. I really enjoyed myself. And if you guys are looking to battle me, I absolutely love doing it. I will try to get in when I can. I wanted to record these live. I just there was no, it wasn't possible. So just got the battles off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Oh bye bye.